be wondering what we're doing laying in this bed. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that kind of video. <laughs> if you'll give us just a second. Well, here's the explanation from the other bed scene. <clears throat> that is our old bed. And as you can see, we did not have very much room in that bed. We outgrew that bed. And we upgraded to this bed which we have more room to move around. And the poor little dog doesn't get squished in the middle of the night. I am Angie Kinneman, and I am 35 years old. I am five foot tall, and I weigh 296 pounds. I'm Mike Kinneman. I'm 33 years old. I'm six foot tall, and I weigh slightly less than my wife. <laughs> you don't tell the truth. Okay. okay. <laughs> I weigh 330 pounds. That's more, not less. <laughs> and we are about to show you why the Kinnaman family is your next biggest loser. Well, you wanted us to show you how our weight affects our life. I'm a prep cook at a small local coffee shop. And sometimes in the morning when I get home from work, I've done a lot of baking. You know, I just want to take a nice relaxing bath. And I want to show you exactly what kind of effort that is. So I can't reach the water. There's no room in this tub. But the worst part is trying to get out. <laughs> it's like exercise all on its own. And that's no joke. And so for that reason, I take showers. Okay, so to journal on one of our meals, this is typically the time of day. I work mornings and my husband works second shift. And so we have a little window in between to have a meal for lunch. Well, what you didn't see is on my way home from work, I called to find out what we were going to eat today. Well, today it happens to be McDonald's. What we have in here is chicken nuggets, fish sandwich, fish sandwich, and my quarter pounder with cheese. Also, there's a pack of fries missing. I ate them in the car. And this is what we do. We sit here, we watch TV, we eat our lunch so that Mike can get ready to go to work. And this is a typical meal. You got more to see me? Yes, I do have to close. There's six. Yep. But what we eat for dinner? Waffle um, House? <laughs> I don't know. Waffle House? Maybe. Okay. So you wanted to see our competitive side. So we decided to have a little race. And the winner is going to have to cook dinner for an entire week. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready to watch this girl blow this guy out of the water? Because it's going to happen. Ready, set.
Now on a serious note, I used to enjoy a good game of basketball, but these days I find myself putting up a few shots and then it's back in the house. Wait a minute, I want to hurry back. People that don't struggle with their weight, they don't understand how your weight affects your daily life. These steps right here, I go up and down them every single day to go to and from work. And my weight creates a balance problem, so I have to be very careful how I go down. Because without your balance, you will fall. And I am the queen of falls. But I would like to erase that stigmatism. I would like to be the person that could go up these stairs without falling. I would like to actually be able to run up these stairs without the fear of falling. And I'm afraid if I don't change my weight, that's not gonna be possible. And I don't wanna be 60 years old and being forced to ride an elevator. And so I need a change. Okay, we know the biggest loser is the game. And past contestants, they've had tragedy and despair from hereditary obesity to children following in the footsteps of their parents' eating disorders. And America has fallen in love with these stories. We don't have children to follow in our footsteps, and that is because doctors say at our weight that is highly unlikely for us. And for us, that is our tragic story. Me and Mike want to start our family, and I'm 35 years old and not getting any younger, and we need serious help. If we don't drastically change our life style, we're gonna soon become one of those statistics. You have seen our video and hopefully found it both amusing and serious. More importantly, you have seen how severe our situation is and how much we need to be on the ranch. I'm Angie Kinneman, and this is my husband. I'm Mike Kinneman. We live in Day City, Florida. Hi, I'm Angie. This is my husband. You gotta say your name. trying to make a date for the biggest And yeah, you keep saying, this is my husband. <laughs> First time you said my name. But I decided I wanted to use yeah, You can't decide for yourself. You have to tell me what you want to do. Please to put your name in a black magic box. <laughs> this is my husband. <laughs> I don't want to edit this. Oh, God.